Alright, new coffee table. What are you doing, Ryder? Wow, now that, what do you think of that, huh? What do you think of that, Ryder? Huh? Good boy? Yeah, hot. You need an umbrella. Say it's so hot. You can also sit up here in the shade. He's not that smart. But I guess that was in Georgia. That's smart. He's just a goob. Biting you, Bubba? What is it? Come here, Ryder. Come here. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, 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 All right, Ryder had enough. Yep. Let's go see. Let's go. All right. So we got it screwed and glued together. Now maybe I'll sand it a little bit more and then try to burn it. If we got time. Let's see if we got time. We'll get another one of these. 160. Where's Bubba? Well, there he is. All right. So we got. We got another 80 grit. Good boy. Good boy. You like being outside? All right, so we just gotta sand this down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to sand this a little bit more. This is the center. Then we're going to burn and stain this. And then I don't think we're going to I don't think I'm going to burn or stain these at all. I think I'm going to just leave these. And then I'll just screw it all together. I might um, burn and stain and then give this a coat polycrylic and I might separately polyurethane these a couple coats and then put it all together and then do it again one more chasing a mosquito away from me right now um, so you know I might put in three more nails on the other end because I got these three nails here put some here but I might drill in some fake ones I got a jar of ones I've kept and hammer three in here and three in just to make it uniform all right taking a break the mosquitoes are coming out and we got to run uh here's what we got we got all the scrap wood still we'll find projects for that later but we got the sanded these these are the cross members the runners um this will be the width of the frame these are the legs i gotta sand these down still uh but how much 
white wash do we have? We have a bunch of white wash. Maybe I got enough. So it's coming along nicely. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this. Maybe for later. I don't even know what these are from. Can't remember. But I think we're good. I think we've just got to now assemble the um the start assembling the frame. We don't have a plan for the bottom. Got all that wood there. Don't have a plan yet for the bottom of the coffee table, so we'll come up with that with the big nails. With these guys. Got a few already. Um so I'm gonna pull a couple of these out and then I'm gonna start working on that. <coughs> Finishing up that coffee table. <coughs> and see if I can use one of these. Or maybe the bottom shelf, I don't know. mosquito gear this one might be good enough for my um, for my bottom shelf coffee table this piece might be then I can uh, maybe use this piece for the bottom shelf we'll see It's boiling hot. Alright, so we're just standing down the legs now, and then I'm going to Test fit the ends to see that I got them approximately correct, and I'll try to assemble the ends after I sand this last leg. All right, so we're going to use these pocket hole screws, and these kind of go in on an angle, and they'll wind up penetrating something like that. So two each side, two, four, six, eight, up top, same thing, come in. Uh, so we'll glue it, clamp it, check for square legs. So I'm just using this two by four as a guide for the bottom, just to kind of help me keep it all squared up. So let me get this guy clamped up here. I did it again. I put it on upside down. This is upside down. Jesus. <laughs> you gotta be able to screw up into the lid. So it's got they gotta go this way. Let me uh try this again. Now I gotta fix the bottom before it dries quickly. Crazy, crazy. Alright. So these screws are going to go up through here and grab the top of the coffee table. Same as for the bottom shelf, these are going to come up through and grab the bottom. Oh, Alright, so we got two of these. So now we just need to finish the top. Yeah, I guess we can burn the top. Let's go do that. So we're going to use this nifty weed dragon my dad gave me. We're going to burn this top, the center section. 
with our little USB power port. We're gonna burn this and prep it for staining. scrub with a grill, grill brush and uh, stain it and we're done with the center section. We use this uh, ripped up sock. So this is the contrast we got. I don't know, maybe I should test burn this guy. I'm just really nervous if you burn it and it gets messed up. Then that's that. So, I think that's all I wanted to get done today. It's a mess. Okay, so we got the frame assembled. One coat of paint, um, frame, and now I need to worry about the the shelf. So what I'm thinking is to use again one of these scrap pieces of wood I found on the beach as the top portion. So let me grab one and free it up. All right. So again, let's just check check the width. All right, so we need 21 and a half approximately for the width of the bottom shelf and about 54 I'm sorry 45 so a little bit of overhang what I have to work with is got this guy found washed up it's about 14 feet long maybe I got this piece, which could be a bench, but it is 11 and a quarter. So this is, two of these together would be 22 and a half. So if I cut this. Yeah, so this is 14 feet, a little bit over 14. So I think I'll use this for the middle and then this for the end. So cut this in half, middle, middle, cut this in half, and end, and that'll be the whole bottom shelf will be just pure washed up driftwood. That's now the fun part of putting this gigantic freaking board away. All right, we're gonna cut a piece off for for this bottom shelf here. Do I want to go from this end, 45 inches, make it make it uniform at least, and three quarters. Be the bottom shelf boom we just did it kind of uneven but you know now i might want to just make these ends even so i got the pieces cut and i think it'll be about like so um i'm leaving a little gap for the power cord so 
I don't have to cut this actually. It'll that'll work. I can route it straight down here, or you know any corner. I think the bottom shelf is pretty much done. I like the way that all came together. Pretty easy. So then it'll just be sealing, and then adding the other two outside top boards here, and then painting one more coat on here. Poly, poly. So we'll sand the hell out of that poly, and then we'll uh, be ready for assembly. These are my end pieces, my end guides. Okay, finished up the bottom shelves. This will be two pieces that we will then um, poly finish up and put together later and then this will be the top border going around this guy and we'll put it all together okay it is a rainy Tuesday on and off off and on this is kind of the look at the top now this shiny I might do the bottom the same way I might get some more poly Thing. I did this piece, but let's try to uh, let's try to glue this guy. Just a little test. This side's glued in. Who hasn't dried yet? This side is just set here. All right. Let's see. Handy dumbbells. How much of a gap is there here? Okay, mostly done. Got the power strip installed underneath, power outlet on top. I think we're happy with it for the most part. And I have a nail in my pocket that just stabbed me. Ow. How's this lighting? Okay, so here's the finished product. Got the power strip here, the end table power supply. Got 
my one chest board still waiting on the others. But pretty much happy with the way it turned out. Pretty little rough down here in the bottom, but then I threw on some little bit of uh, LED lights. Turn the coffee table lights on. You know, just <laughs> there, there's a strip that goes around. Um, throws a little accent, so maybe I'll maybe I'll move them. I don't know. Not really sure how I feel about it. But yeah, so this project done. I think next I'm gonna replace this guy here, this end table, and then this table over here. So those will be the next projects coming up.